Hey everyone, I'm Janelle Copeland and I've started a quick little series called the 12 Days of Christmas to get you through the holiday season without feeling overwhelmed and to just create some excitement and energy getting into the new year. So welcome to day nine. Today I wanna to talk to you about the fact that we're probably knee deep in the holiday season, but I wanna remind you that the holidays are not always cheery and joyful for everyone. And so here's what I mean by that. Some people don't have maybe family members that live next to them or family that they even like spending the holidays with. So the holidays can be kind of triggering for people who don't feel a sense of community or belonging. The holidays can also remind you of some childhood trauma or the fact that you don't get to celebrate it with someone that you love that maybe you lost. And so I just wanna give you a couple of tips to help remind you that your holidays can still be as special as you make them. So one of the things that I love to do during the holiday season is find a way to be of service to others. And I know you might be thinking, well, the holidays are already overwhelming. I'm shopping, I'm working in my business, I've got orders. And while that may be true, if that is true, actually, I'm gonna invite you to go back and rewatch day one, three, and seven of the 12 days of Christmas, where we talk about balance and time management, and I think that will help you out. But if you're watching this video because you do wanna know how to have an amazing holiday season, then then I really wanna encourage you to step into the act of service. I wanna share a quick clip of something that I did last year for my neighbors, who I don't really know, that brought me a lot of joy and helped spread some joy throughout my neighborhood. I'm gonna show you how to make the cutest Christmas gifts for your neighbors. I ordered these sugar cookie packets from Amazon along with these super cute small mason jars. I got some holiday sprinkles in bulk and then I filled all the tiny jars. Now let's make some labels. Head over to canva.com to design your own. Then you can go to avery.com to print them out as labels. I used tons of supplies I already had to turn them into little tags. Now let's wrap them up. Be sure to use some packaging tape so that way the sprinkle jar doesn't fall off of the packet of cookie mix. And then I used some Christmas tool to tie it around the jar to secure it and keep it in place. I added the cute little tags that I printed out and made tied a bow, and then they're done. This is a great way to sprinkle some holiday cheer around your neighborhood. I made 36 and passed them all out. I can tell you that the response was overwhelming. Lots of people gave gifts throughout the holiday season to me, left them on my doorstep. Again, these are people I don't really know, but I know that it was something that impacted them because they sent lots of thank you cards and Christmas cards, and it sparked this whole thing in the community where people just wanted to do something special for others. It's a reminder to let you know that one small little gesture could go a long way. So I wanna encourage you to maybe get out and do something special for either your neighbors, your coworker, someone who you find might be in need. Another great thing to do during the holiday season, again, figuring out how to be of service, is to see if maybe you can volunteer at a soup kitchen or volunteer to start some sort of fundraiser or participate in a fundraiser. We at the Cake Mamas donated lots of toys to local charities in the community every holiday season. We donated pajamas one year, started a drive to donate jackets one year, and so I just wanna encourage you to do something impactful this year. And remember that if you find or come across some Grinches, be a little graceful, have some kindness, and remember that not everyone is in a position to purchase lots of Christmas presents or buy a nice tree or a fireplace. And they might be a little lonely, they might be dealing with some trauma or some heartbreak. And so whatever you can do to extend a warm hug, you know, just something to make people feel nice, that's what I'm encouraging you to do is spread some holiday cheer. And I think if we all sign up to do that, we can not only have an amazing holiday season for ourselves, but also make the world a better place. And also, if you're looking to kind of tie a bow on the year and kick off 2023 with a bang, then we're gonna be doing a planning party that I'd like to invite you to participate in. There'll be links for you to sign up, but the planning party is something that I do every year to kind of close out my year and then get myself motivated and pumped up to set goals for the upcoming year. And I'd love to have you be a part of that with me. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, click on the links below and I will see you guys in the next video for day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. Bye.